Scathing criticism of new anti-graffiti laws has ignited a war of words between the Greens and the state government. Suggestions that some vandalism should be allowed on artistic grounds has been scoffed at by the Premier. For many, it's unsightly, unnecessary and expensive to remove. But in a 40-plus minute speech, Greens MP Sue Pennycue informed Parliament a lot of graffiti, including tags, can be political, aesthetically pleasing and thought-provoking. So does she really believe it improves the cityscape? Well, that's an artistic question. I'm so, well, I certainly say that if it's permissible and allowed, it should be encouraged. Youth lawyers are also critical of new laws imposing jail terms and large fines on some offenders. They believe the better organised vandals will slip through the net and vulnerable kids may suffer. We believe that graffiti, particularly for young people, is often about self-expression, it's about their development. But not everyone agrees the so-called political comment and artistic expression costs $260 million a year to remove. Businesses are fed up. Well, it's very frustrating and uh, it's, uh, I don't find it very uh, greatly artistic.